We get questions like this all the time, which usually require us to do a few different things, like respond, tag, mark as priority, then assign the conversation to another team. While that gets the job done, there's a faster and smarter way to do it with macros. Macros are pre-written templates that handle common queries quickly and consistently. With one click, I can send a macro that responds, tags, marks as priority, reassigns, and more, saving the time I spend doing these tasks manually. Let's create a macro directly from the inbox by hitting Command-K to open the shortcuts menu, selecting Use Macro, and creating one on the spot. Macros are fully customizable and can include attributes or information about the customer and their account. These attributes make it really easy to personalize each message as they automatically update based on who you're responding to. You can add more context with external links and help articles that will always link to the most updated source. You can also add media or attachments to enhance the response. And lastly, you can add actions like these to boost your macro's efficiency and have them do the bulk of the work for you. I just got some feedback about improvements to a feature that I want the product team to see. With a macro, I can do more than just send a thank you message. I can add actions to assign the conversation to the product team so it would appear in their inbox, tag it as a feature request to filter conversations with later, and even close the conversation since there's no follow-up needed, all in one go. Setting this up helps you keep macros organized and easy to find wherever they're needed. Set the macro to be available to everyone which is a great option for shared knowledge and processes, just you for greetings and closing messages, or specific teams for the certain use cases that are only relevant to them. Choose when they're available to use, at the start of a conversation, when replying, or for internal notes that the customers don't see. Now that my new macro has been saved, I can use it to capture this feedback request for the relevant team to find later in their inbox. Here's a great troubleshooting response from a teammate that covers all the bases. It shows empathy, includes helpful resources, sets expectations for response times, and explains who's handling the issue. Perfect for reuse, right? Instead of creating this from scratch, you can quickly turn it into a macro by hovering over the message, clicking the three dots, and saving the reply as a macro. By adding attributes and placeholders for your team to fill based on the issue they're troubleshooting, you can make this reply easy to reuse. For example, let's add a clear indication to change the issue reason, relevant resources that can help, when you expect to hear back from the team in case of a handover, and the name of the person handling the issue. Now you can use one great response template that can be tailored to each conversation. Let's set it to appear only when replying to customers and make it available just for the support team so they can easily find it later. And don't forget, you can always manage all of your macros from their settings and see how often each individual macro is used in the last 30 days to check if they're relevant, or export a CSV file for an overview on all of your macros. So, whether you want to use macros to speed up your workflow or keep your replies consistent, let us know how you think they'll help your team.